Hello my dear family members, today's session is going to be very unique. Believe me, no one will conduct this type of class freely. You know, from networking security, only these chapters are important for Accenture and in this video series, I am going to cover all the chapters one by one with this year and previous year on campus question on those topics. If you try to skip any moment of this video, then you are going to miss an important part without any doubt. So. Let's start with the basics of networking. So the first question will look like this. What is the purpose of the OSI model in networking? So among the options, one will be the correct. So please opt that. So OSI model look like this, right? And TCP IP model look like this. So I hope you have a little knowledge though I will explain whatever you have learned, right? Okay, in this case, the answer will be actually option B, right? To provide a standardized framework for understanding networking protocols and their functions. This is the purpose of OSI model in networking. So before you proceed to the next question, I would request you to please pause the video and read the responsibilities of each layer. So the Physical layer's responsibilities are these encoding, signaling, voltage levels, physical connectivity, and data layer, data link layer responsibilities are these error detection, framing, MAC address assignment, network layer responsibilities are logical addressing, path determination, routing, packet forwarding, and responsibilities of transport layer, segmentation, reassembly, error checking, and port addressing. Session layer responsibilities are these. And presentation layer responsibilities are encryption, data, data translation, and application layer trans, uh, responsibilities are these, right? So, on the basis of the function of each layer, you uh, may have questions uh, regarding that, right? So, please pause the video and please give me the answer of the quiz. Which OSI model layer is responsible for routing packets between different networks? It was asked in the last on campus drive. I mean on the August drive, right? So please pause and give me the answer. I hope you have paused the video earlier and watched the function of each layer, right? Okay, the next question is this, right? Which of the following IP address classes is used for multicast addresses? Okay, before I answer, just let me show you the table of each classes and their functions. So at first the ranges are like class A lies between 0 to 127, class B 128 to 191, class C 192 to 223, class D 224 to 239, class E 242 to 55 bit, right? So rest of the bits are 0 to 255, right? Just different in the first bit, right? Okay, then uh, the functions of class A, class B, and class C are mentioned here. Mainly class D and class E functions are highly important, right? Actually, uh, the class D reserved for multicast group communication and class E reserved for experimental and research purposes, right? Okay, let me show you the actual question. And on the basis of the table, please give me the answer. Which of the following IP address classes is used for multicast address? So as you got to know, the class D will be the correct answer in this case, right? All the questions which I am showing to you, most of them were asked in the last August drive, right? So please pause and always try to give the answer before I answer, right? Okay, let's just answer a quiz question that is what IP address class does the address 225.101.0.205 belong to? This question was asked in last off campus drive 2023. Please give me the answer in the comment section. And before I proceed to the next section, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding Accenture on campus, Accenture previous year question, and Accenture assessment based previous year question, right? So let's go to the next question. That is, what is the purpose of subnetting in IP addressing? to create smaller, more manageable network segments within a large network, to encrypt data transmission, to establish direct connections between devices, to increase the speed of tra data transmission. What will be the correct answer? 
Okay, let me answer that. Option A will be the correct answer in this case. Subnetting is used to create smaller network segments within a large network, improving network management and addressing efficiency. Right. Okay, let's just go to the next question that will be more clear to you. Right. Which type of IP address is used to identify the network itself rather than individual device within the network? So let me answer that uh, public IP address will be the correct in this case. Actually, a public IP address uh, is used to identify networks on the internet while private IP addresses are used for individual devices within a network, right? Okay, let's just go to the next question. Which network topology connects all devices in a linear fashion with each device connected to exactly two other devices? So the image shows the answer, right? So ring topology will be the correct in this case. In, in a ring topology, each device is connected to exactly two other devices in a linear fashion. I mean, all the names are suggesting what will be the answer, right? So if you know the English meaning of star or English meaning of ring, bus or how they look like, then you will be able to answer the question. Okay, let's just uh, give a quiz question. Guys, whatever I am showing to you as quiz, please give me the answer in a single comment so that I can uh, summarize your answer, right? Okay, which network topology connects all devices to a central hub or switch with each device having its own dedicated connection to the central device? Okay, just imagine how star look like, how ring look like, how bus look like, how mesh look like, right? So you will be able to answer the question. Okay, I don't have to explain this further. I hope this is clear to you. Okay, the next question is, what is the purpose of MAC address in networking? To identify a device on the internet, to determine the physical location of a device, to uniquely identify a network interface card, NIC? to define the IP address of a device. What will be the correct in this case? Okay, let me answer that. Option C will be correct in this case. A MAC or Media Access Control address is a unique identifier assigned to a network interface card NIC to distinguish it from other devices on the network, right? Okay, just to go to the next question. That is, what is the primary advantage of using IPv6 over IPv4 in modern tech networking? Okay, without reading the options, I am giving the answer before you answer, right? Okay, option B will be correct because uh, this probably be secondary functions or secondary advantage of the IPv6, right? But primary functions or primary advantages is this. IPv6 has a larger address space reducing the need for NAT or network address translation, right? Okay, the next question is, which protocol is commonly used for secure remote login and file transfer over a network? Here, the confusion creates file transfer, right? Just hearing the file transfer, many, many one will give FTP, but this will not be the answer. That's why they tricked it, right? Okay, let's just read all the functions of all protocols, then it will be clear to you. So, the hypertext transfer protocol HTTP is used for this. HTTPS and HTTPS is for a secure version of HTTP and uh, read, pause the video and read others, right? What I am skipping. And SMTP is used for mail transferring purpose and FTP is used for file transfer protocol, I mean file transferring purpose and SSH is a secure cell which provides secure remote access and secure file transfer over, a, over an encrypted connection, right? So whatever I have written in the table, can you answer what will be the correct? The SSH, SSH will be the correct answer or SSH is the protocol which is commonly used for secure remote login and file transfer over a network, right? This will be the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. Which device is responsible for forwarding data packets between different networks 
इन आ नेटवर्क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर राउटर स्विच हब और मॉडेम ओके बिफोर आई आंसर लेट मी शो यू अ फ्यू थियोरिटिकल नॉलेज दैट इज व्हाट इज स्विच स्विच फॉरवर्ड्स डेटा फ्रेम्स विद इन अ लोकल नेटवर्क बेस्ड ऑन मैक एड्रेसेस प्रोवाइडिंग एफिशिएंट एंड इंटेलिजेंट डेटा ट्रांसमिशन एंड व्हाट इज हब हब इज एक्चुअली पैसिवली ब्रॉडकास्ट data to all devices in a network segment lacking intelligence to selectively transmit data and uh, the modems are modems which converts digital data from computers into analog signals for transmission over analog communication lines and vice versa right so actually the answer will be in this case router right so router is a device that is responsible for forwarding data packets between different networks in a network infrastructure right actually my friends whatever questions are asked in the previous year and in this year from all the topics of this chapter i mean from basics of network uh, i am summarizing all the questions in a single video right and in the next video i will cover the next chapter with all the previous year question and the current year questions right so please watch the playlist regarding accenture networking security chapter right okay let's go to the next question that is okay the next question will be look like this right you will be given a website and you have to tell what is the segment called right so actually in a website the this segment is called a protocol this segment is called subdomain and this segment is called domain this is tld or top level domain and this is the path or directory and after the question mark this is query parameters right let's say and lens.google.com right so lens will be the, the subdomain google will be the domain and .com will be the top level domain right and this is all together a host or if this is dot in this is also a top level domain right so if you understood what are the segments called then please give me the answer in the comment section what is the answer of this question actually this question was asked in the last on campus drive august right so please pause and give me the answer otherwise it will not be helpful right so i hope this session was very much helpful and informative to you i wish this will help you to crack the accenture exam online or offline so before i end the session i would request you to please subscribe this channel and Please motivate me in the comment section. Thank you for today's session.